Hello, hello, good morning to all my sisters and my brothers in Christ. Um, happy Monday. I hope you guys are being blessed by the best. Well, happy Tuesday. Um, because this is gonna come out on Tuesday, <laughs> but today is Monday when I'm recording it. Um, I love you all. I thank y'all for subscribing. I don't know what I would do if um I didn't have you all supporting me the way that you do. Because it's many times that when I'm doing this, I just wanna give up. But when God is commissioning you to do something, y'all here give you the grace to keep going. You know, right when you think you're at a low place and it's over, he'll keep you going. And you be wanting to say, well, you know what, I'm done. You know, and I realize that so many people change the gospel and they preach false gospels because it's hard to win the people over with the true word of God. It is, you know, it's not very many people that wants to hear what God is really saying because they don't want to change. But um, let's get started. Let's pray. Father God in heaven, I come to you in the name of Jesus. Lord, I love you. I thank you. I praise you. I look to you for all my strength and my help. I thank you so much for allowing me to come out here and do what you have commissioned me and commanded me to do in the way you want me to do it. I love you. Amen. Okay, guys. Um, the, the scriptures for this is going to be, I'll tell you what it's coming from. This, these messages have been coming from Ezekiel. Um, that's what God led me to be in. And uh, I read Ezekiel before, but this time, you know, the more you, the closer you get to, with God, you can read the Bible, you can read the same thing over and over and over, but it seems like every time he may be sending a different message. And it's unbelievable and it's amazing all at the same time. Uh, but this is mainly about, and I'm going to read it to you as it was given to me. It said, I will not let them pollute my holy name anymore. And the heathens shall know that I am Lord. All right. He will not let us or uh, nobody pollute, even his people, pollute his holy name anymore. And the heathens shall know that I am Lord. So with that being said, you guys. Um, he said, people that are doing nothing sh sh shall fall by the sword. People that are doing nothing shall fall by the sword. He said, and he that is in the harvest, but doesn't work, doesn't labor, will be devoured by Satan. They hate, huh, they, they that are asleep, and sh they, that are, they that are asleep, sorry, shall die of prestilence. So, Pretty much, you should be working for God. Ministering in some type of form, if you are a believer, you should be working for Lord. What do you say? The um, harvest is plenty, but the laborers are few. So um, if you're sleeping, you ain't going to have nothing. You know, you gonna, you're sleeping, you know what? You ain't going to have nothing. You ain't going to know nothing. You ain't doing nothing. You know, nothing from nothing leaves nothing. We have to feed the spirit, y'all, constantly and die to the flesh. So, you know, anything that's spiritual, you need to be feeding your spiritual man. Also, chapter Ezekiel chapter 33, verses 32 through 33. He said, do what, is in, do what is instructed by the prophet, because those are the words of the living God. Lo, it will come, which means whatever he has spoken or she has spoken, it will come. And uh, because it has not came yet, God is so gracious that he don't want to do it. He want everybody to say, oh, let me stop this and let me turn. I, he don't want to have to do do what he what, what he's going to do. And he give you a time. So if, it's, if you're the one that's going to be in that wrath, for you to rebel, not rebel, because you, you've been rebelling, for you to return to him. And not keep rebelling against him. Uh, also, Ezekiel chapter 34, verse 13 through 16. God will find all his lost sheep, one by one. He said, um, I will work while they rest. I will give them their land. I will bring them to their land. Um, there shall be, they, they shall lie in a good fold. God is about to bless you and everything and everyone around you. Yes. You. Just because of who you are to him, a shower of blessings are headed your way. So he wanted you to know that 
Not because of anything that you've done, but because of how good he is, that he's going to shower blessings upon you. So everybody will know that he is Lord. Also, chapter 36, verse 19. It says, how are we judged here on earth? Um, when you are when you are being judged by God, so you'll know that judgment is upon you. This is what you look for. When you are being judged by God, he will scatter you among heathens. And you will be dispersed throughout through throughout the countries according to according to their ways and according to their doings. So what you sow in the flesh, you will reap in the flesh. What you sow in the spirit, you will reap in the spirit is your choice. He wants you to know that. It is your choice. So he's pretty much saying that whatever you do, if you're doing things for God, you're going to reap every benefit of what you have done for God. When you're doing things for your fleshly desire, um, like drinking, smoking, having sex outside of marriage, that makes, that makes your flesh feel good. When you're not married, that's not for God. So if you run into a disease, if you run into a crazy woman or a crazy man, um, whatever that comes about that is not of God, that's judgment here on earth. That's his way of letting you feel what you have done, what you have done against him. And believe me, y'all, I know about judgment. Oh, that's why I try to be obedient because I don't like being punished. I don't like being chastised. You know, I still am chastised if I do something wrong. Like even the days that I was away from doing this, you know, serving for God and ministering, I came into a place of just judgment to where he made me deal with, you know, some of the things that I had done and my thoughts and even way I get judged on the way I use my time. You know, am I using my time for him or am I feeding my flesh with watching MTV Love and Hip Hop? Yeah. <laughs> um, <clears throat> also, um, chapter 39, verse 23 to 24, verse 23 through 24. When my people are taken over by heathens, it is my doing. But because I was not going, but because I am not going to have my holy name profane, I rescue them from their enemies, not by their works, because <clears throat> because of the promise I made to Abraham. So <clears throat> right there, sorry. <clears throat> God is going to bless us, me, you, not because of our works. You know, He's going to bless us for His name's sake. Because he don't want us going around saying, oh, I live right for God and I'm being obedient to the Lord and I'm I'm struggling. I don't have nothing, you know. Uh, I don't have no way to get around. I don't have no money. You know, uh, my kids are taking me through this, taking me through that. He said, no, you will not go around and tell people anything to profane his name and curse who he is. He is God Almighty. He's God Almighty. And he said that you... Me and everybody that's around us will know who he is through how he's going to work some things out in your life, you know. And he wants you to really, really understand that. He wants you to trust in him and believe in him and know that he is the way, the truth, and the light. And uh, to some of these people, I, I do messages on um sometimes just little type little comments on different uh, platforms. And when I do sometimes... Some platforms I feel like I'm not going to go on because they are a little bit too much for me in, in my spirit. My, they, they grieve my spiritual man. They grieve the Holy Spirit. You know, I don't like it. Um, and he don't like it. I don't like what he doesn't like. So you get to a place that when you see people doing stuff that God don't like, you don't like it. <clears throat> and you don't care to be around it or deal with it. Um, discernment. God is really, really increasing our discernment. Um, I have felt things about people that God has allowed the person to confirm out of their mouth what I felt about them, you know? So I'm all smiles because I never want to judge wrong. And I never want, because we are, we're, 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 people say that's judging, that's judging. I'm going to tell y'all something. <laughs> Honestly, um, discerning 
and knowing what is good and evil, you are you need to judge people because how do you supposed to know if you're in the in the presence of a real Christian versus a wolf in sheep clothing? So I don't condemn. I will not cast a person to hell. I let them know that if you keep doing what you're doing, you're gonna go to hell. I don't have a problem with that, but I don't really like to. If I feel like you're not in the right standard, I try not to deal with you because I don't want to have to tell you what God is gonna make me tell you. So I would rather leave you alone and pray for you from afar and let you do what you want to do against God without me being around it. Like, I don't want to entertain this. And I come to a point where God has me in a place where I really can't do much. Um, I'm completely carless, you guys. And uh, we went from two cars to zero. No car. And it's fine. Um, when I need to get around. You know, I have my brother, you know, he'll help me out. But um, so I'm in a place where God has really separated me to strengthen me. And I like it. You know, it doesn't bother me. It doesn't bother me because a lot of times it's a lot that I just don't want to deal with. You know, it's a lot I don't want to hear. It's a lot I don't want to be a part of. And I just, I don't, I'm just one of them people. I just, I prefer it this way. And um, I know I can't be like this all the time because it wouldn't matter to me if me and my little family was on a ranch with horses, cows, chickens. I plant me a garden and um, I was away from complete civilization because the world and what they own, it'll take me to a place that I don't want to go to. You know, I don't want to go there. So right now I'm just having a moment with y'all. To let y'all know that God, he's awesome. He's amazing. And if you never understood me and felt me ever, you know, I hope you feel me. Now I'm human. I'm a person just like anybody else. I make mistakes, but I try not to sin very much in my flesh. If anything, I may curse. And um, I may choose to have a glass of wine or alcoholic beverage. Um... But I don't try to get drunk because I do have things that I do that I fall, you know, into. But even when I do those things, I feel bad and I ask God to help me, you know. So that's what I ask for you guys to just, you know, be obedient because we had a time that, you know, God is also judging sin. You know, just thinking that you're going to. Do whatever you want to do. It's consequences. It's only so far you can get with doing whatever you see fit, whatever pleases you in your flesh. You know, I had a time, y'all, where um, due to certain stuff I just can't say, but I had a time where I just did my thing. And people that know me, they know what that means as far as just um, being a very lustful person. And um, so I get it. But I'm telling y'all, the things that I did didn't bring me nothing good. I'm in a more blessed place now than I've ever been. One time I'm going to tell you this. I um, dealt with a person. I was in a adulterous state, I would say. And um, I was not married at the time, but the person was. And as I dealt with that person, just for the drop off on you, just to let you know that I, I ain't perfect, but I just choose to come out of that. When I dealt with the person, all hell broke a loose in my life. You know, nothing was good for me. I had things that just didn't go, they didn't go well. And I was in a judgment period and I didn't know, but I knew. I said, this is what I, but I want to do what I want to do. And I didn't care about the judgment and God is so good that he still didn't take me down too bad. You know, even though my name was, you know, talked about, my character was assassinated from even dealing with that situation and it wasn't worth it. I didn't reap anything good from it. And this, that's what it's all about. So when someone is, when I'm coming here and I'm saying depart from sin, it's because I want you to be blessed. You know, I would want every person, all my cousins, all my family, my brother, my husband, everybody to join hands with me and preach the gospel and just step on St. Nick and just not do nothing against God. But I can't make nobody do that. But also, I can't let nobody take me back, and I can't let nobody hold me back, and I can't entertain nobody that ain't doing what I'm doing. I can't. But no, by no means, and that's from my genuine heart, 
And I'm not a mean person, never have been. But God has made me bold and courageous. And he said, when it's time to speak up, speak up. And when it's time to be quiet, be quiet. So I just wanted to um, let y'all know that God is not going to, people ain't going to, we're not going to profane his name. He's going to bless us because he's good, not because we good. Because he's good, you know. So um, I love y'all. Let's pray and then we can go. Father God, I thank you. I love you. I need you. I worship you. I look to you, Lord, for my strength and my help. You are a good God, and you're worthy to be praised. Stay ahead over my life. Keep me covered with your blood. And I pray this prayer for all my viewers. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. All right, y'all. Be blessed. Bye-bye.